You learn anything new on this end? Santa Cabeza is a stronghold of the Central American drug trade. The professor here seems to think that the zombies are a byproduct of these drugs. So you're telling me... what? That somebody spread a bunch of zombie drugs around Willamette? For what? What would making the dead come to life accomplish? They're terrorists! Don't try to explain their actions with logic! I've analyzed the drug in question, and I've reported my findings to the government! <coughs> that must be what set them off! <coughs> they, they didn't want to be... <coughs> exposed! <coughs> I've... I've told you everything I know! Now get me out of here! <coughs> Call for help and kill those creeps! <coughs> Yeah. She's not really a psychopath, though. She's like the only... Well, Carlito's not really crazy, either. Shut up, old fart. Why can't we contact HQ? Yeah, I don't remember. Is there a reason that they can't? I'm sorry, uh, Brad. Is this weird that you're talking directly into my crotch? I just probably got some dumb nonsense to send me on now. You got the melon. Wow, how many... That was weird. I had a lot of empty space in my uh, inventory. It's a shame I can't pick this up. My cabbages! What do you got for me now, shitbag? Please don't be like four missions. Ah! I'm gonna do Antique Lover. I gotta push off the cult as long as humanly possible. Wild Puma. That guy looks like Cliffy B. That's weird. Why is he coming up so often? Everyone should just forget about Cliffy B. Yeah, as soon as the cult comes in, it, the game gets like infinitely more unplayable. It just, there's so much shit that you have to deal with in the game. You know, you got Cliff over here, you got Kent, you got Joe, you got these zombie poodles and birds. And you got this guy charging at you, and then you got the cult. And the cult, I don't remember if I've said this before, but the cult makes the game, like, audio-wise, a complete nightmare. Because all you hear is... Like, all the dumb cult noises that they make. And it's all really, like, low quality, and it, like, it, like, peaks. The audio peaks. It, it sounds really bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, it's, it's not very pleasant. We'll, we'll get into that when we actually run into the cult. Let's get this guy's clean. Always on the lookout. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. I guess there's not much I could do about him unless I just, uh... Shoot him preemptively. How many queens I got? Six. I'm gonna just hold on to as many as I can for right now and then see if I can uh, just completely circumnavigate everything in overtime mode. Floyd. What a fucking name. Okay. No, let's just go. You can admire the art from your memory, sir, if we just leave. Um, yes? Well then stay here!
Oh, can we just move this on? You appreciate art too much to mistake this junk for sale in a mall for the real deal. That's amazing. You can't really consider this crap to be art. I've made better art than this in the can. Oh, I love Frank. I miss him. I miss good Frank, which is why I'm excited to play Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It's like the only thing I'm like excited to see is a story with Chris Redfield and Frank West in it. Oh, I don't want it though. I don't want it. Is he gonna make me get it? Oh, what a dumbass. Look at this guy. Come on. Come on. If this zombie gets to me before you figure out how to use that door, I'm leaving your ass behind. It's like someone's ass is getting left behind. I don't know, I want the neck twist him. You, sir, are a Dumas. Get over here. Oh my god. What an asshole. Uh, so the other day I was watching one of the, um... Oh, hey, this guy's got another queen. I was watching one of the, um... Half in the Bag, not Half in the Bag, um, Best of the Worst from Red Letter Media, where they were watching Bigfoot versus D.B. Cooper. And there was a point in which the, the actor playing D.B. Cooper spoke, and I was like, wait a minute... Is that TJ Rotolo? Is that Frank West that I'm hearing? I was like, nah, it can't be. So I, I IMDB'd the movie, and I was like, oh, fuck it is. It's, it's TJ Rotolo. It's my boy Frank West. The real Frank West. And then, um, so yeah, I had the video paused. And then as soon as I came back from IMDB, I played the video again, and they showed Rich Evans. And he's just like, is that Frank West? So I'm pretty sure that I am Rich Evans, but he's just me from the future. Come on, come on. Get the fuck over here, asshole. What's your name, Floyd? Ain't no one cool ever had the name Floyd. Unless, of course, your name is Floyd Lawton. That's the only cool Floyd that's ever existed. Follow me. Come on. Just think of that. Think of it, Will Smith playing a character named Floyd. Asshole. Yeah, the, the same thing happened to me when I watched, uh, I was watching Titanic 2 with some friends, and I was the only one there who was like, that captain looks and sounds very familiar. And then, um, and then I IMD beat it, and I was like, fuck, it's DC Douglas. The captain of the, uh, of the Titanic 2 is fucking Albert Wesker. Then about a year ago, they were like, oh, the Titanic 2, we're actually gonna make a Titanic 2 ship. So I tweeted DC Douglas, I was like, if they don't make DC Douglas the captain of the Titanic 2, it was just a waste of time, like, why even do it? And, uh, that was fun, he retweeted it, and we all had a good laugh. It was a goof, a laugh, we had a good, good time. Holly jolly time. DC Douglas and I are, like, pretty much just, like, best friends. <laughs> yeah! You should just have a beer and forget about it. Do not take. Don't want. Here we go. About to enter into the, the point of no return where the game gets infinitely worse when the cult shows up. The cult is, I think, doable in um, the original Dead Rising, but in Chop to the Drop, it's just so much worse, as I've said multiple times. So, this is gonna be fun. Oh, yeah, this is happening. Also, I looked into how you get this door open. In the original game, it's just unlocked, which is exactly what I thought. Because I never remembered having to get a key for that. Fuck off. Uh, in this game, there's an actual mission that you have to do that unlocks the key to that, but you can't do it unless you get an S rank on it. So, if I remember which level it is, I'll make sure I don't use the, the shortcut in that area, because that lowers your rank down to a B, which is stupid. I should probably re-up on my chainsaws soon. Did you have a queen? You were acting kind of queeny. Behold! The 
end of the world is upon us. Death itself has overflowed upon the world, defiling us all. The only path to the salvation of the soul is the purging of the tainted blood! Non-believer in our midst. If we are to achieve salvation, his blood must flow! He must be purged! Spill his blood. The blood of the heretic! Man, this happens to me every time I go to a church for, like, a wedding or a baptism. Like, I, dude, I'm just there out of courtesy. I, I I really don't want to start a fight, but there you are. Call me a heretic saying you need to spill my blood. Oh, no. Why did I have to re- Oh, because I'm, like, wildly swinging the remote. That's why I reloaded. That guy's gonna pull up. I don't think that the cult's actually as aggressive as they are. In the original game, I like I feel like I've never seen them try and suicide bomb me and do the thing where they knock you out with the powder. I've never actually seen that happen in this version of the game. Maybe it's because for the most part I just ignore them. I'm so scared, thank you. Alright, let's go. So yeah, now the cult will be a permanent problem. And that's no fun. At least till uh, a strange cult or a strange group. I forget what the name of the level is. What were you? Oh, fuck! That's not good. I don't like that at all. I don't like being without my small chainsaws. And of course, because this this game is stupid, I can't you know I can't just you know have another weapon with me. She's still, yeah. Thankfully, she's not like. One of those just, just takes forever to go everywhere. She's walking pretty proficiently. I think um, <clears throat> it's around this time, too, that they put the True Eye Cult posters around the mall. I don't think they were here beforehand. I guess I'm, I'm glad that the guns are like better in this game than they were in other games. Or at least in the original game, because the the gunplay got a little bit better, I guess. In um, Dead Rising 2, it still wasn't something that I would recommend doing to play the game. Okay, I shot him in his face, and it it flew off, it ricocheted off. That ain't right. Oh wow! So I just I do enough damage now that I'm just killing them with one. Uh, baseball bat hit. Whoa, she went real fast. All right, we're almost there. Almost out of this nightmare that we can go meet Isabella. That is one ugly outfit she's got on, too. That's not even something anyone in the 2000s would wear. That looks like a 90s outfit. Yeah! Damage. Xbox 360. Zombies killed. Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> Isn't it about time you met up with your lady friend? 
Oh, hey. Oh, th so that was the mission that I- okay. Can you shortcut me? No. I already tried this. I now know that that's- that's bunk, Greg. Greg is a filthy liar and I don't like him anymore. Like, why not just take you to Cletus's gun shop and then you can leave through the door and then go into the North Plaza? Serving as a second little, uh, th shortcut that Dick Greg can give you. This isn't really significantly shorter. Like, the rooftop key isn't any more or less, uh, good than the normal way to get in through the elevator. It just makes it so you don't have to deal with the zombies on the way in. But I, I very rarely get hit by them anyway, so it's not really a problem anyway. This- that one zombie acts kind of queenie. Like, she doesn't have her hands up, like, by her neck. Like, usual queen activity. But, uh... She does- she just- just stands there. She doesn't do anything. Get out of here, fucker. Yeah, okay, I don't think the weapon I have currently is gonna be too good. See, this is what I'm talking about. Listen to the fucking noise that the cult makes. It's the worst. Also, holy shit, dude. Oh my god. That's not okay. That's the closest I've gotten to being killed by the cult in a very long time. Like, not on purpose. Like, there was that extra video that I did for Dead Rising, where I showed what happens when you get kidnapped by the cult. But, uh, you know, other than that, I don't really... It doesn't happen to me. Listen to that! That's horrible! They should have toned that down! That's why the cult is worse in this game than they were in the original game. I think Wonderland Plaza connects to the North Plaza, right? Well, I hope so, anyway. Someone is running after me. I think it's a cliff. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of them apples, Will. What are we gonna do? See, yeah, the, the cult the first time through the game was definitely, like, the scariest part. Because they, they were the only thing that potentially could have happened in real life. Um, and, of course, the fact that they could kidnap you and take all your weapons away was pretty spooky. So, I, I still think the cult is pretty, pretty spooky, but they've just been made annoying in this version. And of course I love the fact that Dead Rising 4 tried bringing the cult back, but it was like so half-assed. Like everything else in that game. That was just one of those remember the first game moments that didn't need to exist. Why is the arrow pointing me that way? The North Plaza is literally right there. Shut up, Colt! You don't need to be talking like that. I never thought that I would say that the zealots and the, uh... Fuck, that guy was just, like, waiting for a gun to go off. In in Resident Evil 4 are sound less annoying than these fucking guys. Don't let him get away. Die! Fucker. Everything in this version of the game is so inconvenient. Oh, this is actually moving. Eh, maybe I'll just take my time here. That guy's got a queen. Can I grab that? Grab it, Frank. I almost could have there. Whoa. And see ya. Why do they gotta be everywhere? They just ruin every area now. And there's Cliff. Cliff also doesn't seem to stop until he hits you. It's complete bullshit. I will say, since there's no time limit in this game, this version of this mission is probably a little bit better. Because you don't have to just stand in that room for like an hour, 
waiting for Isabella to come because there's nothing. There's like no side missions going on, and there's no. Uh, you know, you still got like an hour left, so. It's this room, right? Yeah. Look at that guy waving his arms in the air like he just don't care. 